In this video, we are going to show you how to render a 3ds Max project with V-Ray using Phoenix FD with the Rebus Render Farm. In this case, we are not going to show you anything about configuring the render settings. The purpose of this video is to let you know what to do for the Phoenix FD cache to be uploaded to the Rebus servers. But we will leave a link in the description for a V-Ray job submission. There will be also another one in the upper left corner of the video, just in case. First, make sure you have already simulated everything. Then, select your Phoenix FD object, and on the Modify tab, go to the Input dropdown. Now, delete the path of Preview and Render Cache Path, then click on the three dots and select Browse. Go to the folder where your simulation is cached and select the first one. The rest will come automatically once you move the timeline. In some cases, you need to simulate much more frames than what you need to render. If that is the case, then before you submit to Rebus Farm, then go to the folder of the cache and move the unnecessary caches. This way, Rebus Drop will only upload the needed caches according to your frame range. Now you can start the Rebus Farmanizer. You can mark the Activate Auto Start so we do not need to hit the Play button in the Control Center later. And then click on Render Now. If no errors are detected, you are ready to submit your scene to the farm. In the Control Center, you can click on Show Job Files. You will see that your cache has been also uploaded and it will render them correctly. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section. Here are also some other videos that might interest you. To keep up to date with our channel, don't forget to subscribe.